All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to be explaining to you five of the best exercises you should be working towards as a beginner. So these can be your goals, this can be something that you progress towards, and this will help you out in the gym, during your home workouts, if you're doing street workouts. All right, so let's talk a little bit about each of these exercises and maybe a few of the progressions that we're gonna do in order to achieve each exercise. Now these movements, might not be achievable right at this time and that's what we're going to work towards that's why these five exercises are going to be your goal this is going to be your short-term goal your long-term goal it's going to be something that you're going to be doing on a daily basis once you get into an exercise routine later on in life and that's why these are a good foundation to build upon first exercise we're going to talk about is going to be a push-up this one's going to be really fun uh, everyone's going to get the hang of it pretty fast First key point, you're going to have your shoulders above your hands. Fingers are going to be separated. Second key point, you want your head, shoulders, spine, hips, knees, and feet in a straight line. And that will help with your form. Another key point that we're going to be looking at is you want your chest to go to the ground or your end range of motion and make sure those elbows do not flare out. That will put tension on your shoulders. Okay, these are two push-up progressions. The first one is going to be an incline push-up on either a table, a chair, or a wall. Uh, keep the same form as the normal push-up and it'll just be an incline version and with this chair try and go as low as you can The second progression is going to be a kneeling push-up. Try and keep the same form as the normal push-up. Bring your chest down to the ground and rise back up. You should feel your shoulder blades retract as you go down, which means they'll be pushing together. And then as you come back up, you'll feel them come back into a neutral position. Okay, our next exercise is a squat. On this exercise, you're going to want to be standing tall, chest high. Your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart and toes are going to point slightly outward. Okay, as you're squatting, make sure to watch your knees and make sure they're following in track with your toes. That'll put tension off those knees. A chair sit and you're gonna simply stay in that squat position squat down into the chair either tap the chair and come straight back up or you can actually sit in the chair and then come out of the chair the next progression is going to be a wall sit now this is going to be performed on a sturdy wall, that way you don't lose your balance. Uh, you can cross your arms, you can leave your arms down by your side, or you can bring your arms out in front of you. To set up for this, you'll want your knees to be directly above your feet. You're going to reach out and gravitate your back towards the wall. And you want those knees to be at a 90 degree angle there between your hips and your feet, and that'll give you the best angle to decrease tension on your knees. This is the, going to be the high plank, just like the push-up, make sure your shoulders are directly above your hands, fingers separated, head, shoulders, spine, hips, knees, and feet are in a straight line with one another. This is the low plank, another variation of a plank. Use whichever one you feel most comfortable with. Make sure your hands are out in front of you, elbows in line with your shoulders, 
and also make sure you remain in that same line as before with the high plank and the push up. Okay, the first progression we're going to go through is going to be the kneeling high plank hold. This is going to be the same position you are in for a kneeling push up. Next up is a high plank hold with an incline raised surface, so just like your incline push ups. Alright, our next exercise is going to be the sit up. Try and keep your heels planted on the ground on this one, and what you're going to do is you're going to bring your head off the ground and then raise your torso towards your knees. Our first progression here is going to be an abdominal crunch, and what you're going to do here is keep your feet planted on the ground, and you're going to flex your neck, bringing your head up towards your chest, and then once that is accomplished, you will flex your torso up off the ground, bringing your shoulder blades off the ground, and then slowly lower yourself back down to the ground, torso first, and then neck. Our second progression for this exercise is going to have our feet elevated on a chair and make sure to keep your knees in line with your hips here and what you're going to do is the same thing as the abdominal crunch you're just going to flex your neck towards your chest raising your head off the ground and then you'll raise your torso off the ground and lower it back slowly. Alright, our last exercise today is going to be the lunge. A few key points to talk about is when you're starting this, keep your feet about hip width apart and when you step out, maintain that separation in your feet there. Um, another key point is going to be make sure that your knee stays in line with your toes there when it tracks out. Try not to allow your knee to pass your toes for that's going to put too much tension on that knee joint. Also keep a neutral spine and you're actually just going to lower your body down. You're not going to lean forward or backwards in order to bring your back knee to the ground. Our first progression for the lunge is going to be a static lunge hold. For this you're going to step out from starting position and lower yourself about midway down. You're not going to let your knee touch the ground on this one. And just hold that. You can progress from 5 to 10 to 30 to 45 seconds, however long you can hold it for. The final progression for the lunge is going to be split stance repetitions and for this move you're going to actually step out first and you will perform the repetitions in the split stance position. Now all you're going to be doing is lowering yourself down to where your knee touches the ground or comes fairly close to it and then you'll bring yourself back up staying in that split stance position and you'll complete these reps. What makes this move so great is that you're not having to actually come back up into your stance phase and so you're just going to be able to complete repetition after repetition which will get you more familiarized with the movement itself. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below if you tried any of the progressions. Also share this with your friends so they can have a little insight on this knowledge as well. And I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.